All right, guys, here we go. Another uh, video here. This is the uh, brother amp to the one we uh, just posted with the 150 amp power supply. This is actually for a gentleman that is uh, coming up tomorrow or today, I guess I, guess I should say, um, to get a power supply and an amp. So uh, even though he's picking it up in person, I always like to test uh, stuff before it goes out of here. 100 amp power supply, 15 volts, four pill, uh, 2879C. We're going to run it with the same little driver going into it here. Uh, we'll test the uh, current draw and all that. Should see about the same output power we saw out of the other one. Um, going to do around the same, I'm sure, because they, uh, <laughs> they were shipped here together. So, again, like I said, brother amp, sister amp, whatever you want to call it. But uh, we'll go ahead and get into it here and uh, run a test on this thing. All right, let's go over here to our uh, current meter. Give it a nice audio. Audio. I think that's about what the other one was showing, 78 amps, 76 amps, something like that. Uh, then we'll come over here, average power. 1,000 watt slug. Radio, 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 audio. 400 and some change. Audio. Rolling between four and 500 on audio. But again, just like the other amp, talking in the high 300s around 400, and that is uh, average power. So that's on average. Again, with average power, you can manipulate what it shows based on the tone of your voice. I know a lot of people won't tell you that, but based on the tone of your voice, sometimes you'll show more average power or uh, less average power. So uh, let's show PEP. Test audio, one, two, three, PEP, one, two, three. Again, bouncing over a thousand watts. Uh, just sitting here talking into the mic normal. Audio. And pegging it in the corner with the audio. So, uh, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, audio. Just like the other one audio into it it pegs it against the wall uh talking into it it just uh pushes it a little bit past so uh good running amp here uh been running for about 10 or 15 minutes before i did the video and uh as always i'll let them run 10 or 15 minutes uh after the video make sure everything's going to hold up and we don't have any kind of crazy uh issues not drawing any current aside from uh, basically the fan running so that's always a good sign uh, as far as what it drops to hello 14.8 again put it on a little bit better line than what I'm running on it probably won't drop that much um, what else to say what else to say I guess that's it uh, again this gentleman he's getting the power supply and the amp and uh I didn't plan it this way. It just so happened that both the lots matched. Now, I can't guarantee, you know, if you order a power supply from me and then order an amp, I can't always guarantee that they're gonna match like this. So please don't get me started into doing that. I'll be calling the fat boy and saying, hey man, I need the, I need the LEDs to match. <laughs> He'll probably wanna kill me. But uh, uh, good running little setup here. Um, you know, I, I like the four pills with the 100 amp supplies, the, the four pill C boxes. I've got a local uh, that's got a four pill C box and he runs this combination just to talk local on. And uh, he gets in there and talks on it every day. He, uh, he's got a good SWR and he has no issues with it. Um, and that's his rag chewing setup, if you will. Uh, four pill C box and a, and a 100 amp supply. All right, guys, questions, comments, complaints, let me know. Shoot me a text, 423-299-3535. And uh, for the gentleman coming to pick this stuff up tomorrow, look forward to meeting you, man, and uh, putting a handshake on you. I think you're getting a nice little setup here. Just a reminder, everybody, I know I'll probably get on people's nerves saying this. SWR, keep it low, 1.3 or below, or you do risk burning up transistors which is never a good feeling for anybody so
keep your SWR low. And uh, I guess that's about it. Rooster in Tennessee, see you bye.